Are you looking for a four person backpacking tent? Got a real contender for you. Today we're checking out the Climate Maxfield four person backpacking tent. The struggle with finding the right tent is real, especially when it needs to serve double duty. For me, that means it has to be able to support my family with young kids when we go out on the weekends, but also be able to work for me and my dad buddies when we go out on excursions. Could this be the answer to my tent troubles? Maybe? Maybe yours too. Today we're gonna to dive in and find out what this puppy has to offer. Hooray! Hey y'all, my name is Adam and this is Dad Camps. And I'm a dad who loves to get outdoors and talk about all the gear that goes with it. If you like that too, come hang out and subscribe. Climate has made a name for themselves in the sleeping pad realm of outdoor gear, uh, but they're newer to the tent world. And this is the first one I've gotten to get my hands on and get, get a look at, so I'm excited to dive in. There's a lot of four person backpacking tents out there that range wildly in price and in weight. And this one seems to straddle that line pretty well. I saw this on Amazon. This was this was normally $4.99 uh, on Amazon. I think currently it's listed at $4.18. Uh, you can check the link in the description below to see what the current price is. I picked it up on a pretty steep deal at $3.70. So at that price, this tent's gonna be pretty hard to beat. So check it out, see what it's selling for right now. But uh, at that price, I don't think you're going to find much better bargain from what I can gather for a four-person tent and what this one has to offer. So today, I'm going to set this thing up for the first time, take you along with me, give you my first impressions, and I'll tell you how this may or may not solve my problems. Hey, what is your problem, pal? I'd have no beef with you. So let's cover a few specs before we go set it up. Um, this is one of the lightest four-person tents out there. Uh, it's five pounds, nine ounces and it has 53 square feet of indoor space, not counting the vestibules. As far as durability goes, it is a 40 denier nylon floor. The high point of the tent is 43 inches, and the, on the low side, it's, it's a sloped concept, so on the low side, it's uh, 32 inches, I believe. And uh, I'll put up on the screen a picture of the dimensions because it's a little bit of an odd shape and you can see um, w how the dimensions lay out. It's 90 inches long in the middle and uh, and then kind of tapers from the sides. So we'll see what that looks like when we get it unpacked. So let's head out to the backyard and set this puppy up and then we'll come back here into the office for a debrief. All right, so let's try this thing out. Right out of the gate, this thing is already impressive. It's 5.6 pounds which is amazingly lightweight for a four person tent. And it seems pretty compact. I like the packaging on it. Um, but let's get in and start setting this thing up. And the kids are gonna help me here. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Holy moly. So it has this cool packaging where it's uh, got a, a burrito style wrap. So there's no stuff sack that you have to like it down into it just rolls right up and then you strap it down which is uh i feel like a pretty innovative design here's the burrito all right so they say that an 11 year old can set this up in less than five minutes uh, i have an eight year old and a five year old here so uh combined we got a, a 13 year old right uh so let's see if we can beat that All right, so I don't think we made the five minutes, but uh, pretty close considering I've never uh, set this up before. I've never read the instructions. I've not watched any uh, tutorial videos on it. It's pretty intuitive. It's color coded. Once I figured out the color coding, it was really straightforward. Um, 
and it's pretty impressive already. Uh, it's 53 square feet inside, so that's uh, pretty nice as far as the the footprint goes. But let's try putting the let's try putting the rainfly on now. All right, so the rain fly was pretty straightforward too. Uh, it is also color coded, so you know which direction it goes. Uh, it does look like I'm gonna have to get some extra stakes for it if you really wanna um, stake it out, like for instance right here, uh, if you wanna move that out a little bit or um, use the guy lines, you're gonna have to have additional stakes. The stakes that come with it seem to be the minimal setup. So, uh, so let's get in and check it out. All right, first impressions inside the tent. It is mighty roomy. It definitely feels like you got room to spread out in here. I mean, me and the kids would be no problem. Uh, having the wife and the two big kids, definitely doable in here. Um, we'll try experimenting with some pads in here and see how they fit, but um, lots of headroom. I mean, I can fully sit up. I'm 6'2", and I'm not hitting. It does taper on the foot end over there, um, but it's uh seems plenty tall and uh and spacious it is warm it is we have it's like 85 degrees outside right now and in here definitely feels very warm i've got the front open and uh the vents but it's definitely warm in full sun in here definitely some things that i already like about the tent and i'm gonna go over those um individually here so what do you guys think of the tent so far so hot <laughs> Other than it being hot, what do you think of the tent itself? It's so amazing. Amazing. And but I'd rather be in the pool right now. And my part so of the tent cool. is so cool because you can play, there's as much room as you can play with it. Yeah. It, it's so stinking hot. I'm going to be in the pool right now. <laughs> Alright, let's get out. Alright, I just want to point out a few of the innovative things on here. I feel like innovative is the, is the key word for this tent. Um, some cool, super cool little features. Um, that are pretty nice. Uh, I like these clips on the rainfly and the door. Um, they make it very easy to clip back and then uh, tighten so that it can keep it uh, nice and bundled up there and keeps it from flopping around and keeps it out of your way. So I like that. On the guidelines, there's this cool little latch feature on the rope here where um, after you tighten it, I can get it to focus. Um, this just snaps right in there to keep it from retracting. Uh, just a nice little feature there. I haven't seen one of those before. And on the guy line on the back of the tent, it's uh, got this nice little ring that can slide back and forth so that wherever you need to guide it out, if you need to go to a tree or around a rock or something like that, it still pulls both um, points out evenly no matter which direction you're pulling from so pretty nice feature there it's got a fairly uh, good sized vestibule there uh, definitely think you could fit several backpacks in right there but then it's also got a vestibule at the back there's a door on the back end which you can't go out of if you have the rain fly on but it would work to store gear outside of your tent and keep it protected from the rain so uh, pretty Nice feature, I've never seen one like that before. And then inside the tent here, they've got these gear lofts. Uh, let's see if you can see where it goes in right here to store stuff um, and a little line where you can clip things. And then there's another gear loft on the other side right here uh, with dual pockets on each side. So um, no pockets around the edges. Uh, I don't really love that. Uh, I like to have a little pocket around the edge to store my flashlight or something like that, but um, I guess that's the price you pay for cutting some, cutting down on some weight. Let's give it the height test here. I'm 6'2", and you can kind of see how I fit. I'm off on one side, and there's definitely room. It's not the most roomy thing. Um, I have to kind of angle my feet down towards the taper to make it fit. Um, as opposed to being straight right here, my feet would hit the bottom 
of the tent. So, not the most roomy. I'm 6'2", uh, so fairly tall, but, um, but yeah, might have to have the tallest person in the middle. In the middle of the tent, it seems to be plenty of height. My feet aren't touching, and I've got plenty of headroom in front of the door here. All right, here it is with three sleeping pads set up in it to give you some more idea of the space. I mean, three pads definitely fit. Four pads obviously would be a bit much, um, especially for full grown adults. Um, but I think you could do it with two adults and two kids. However, I'm planning on using this for an upcoming backpacking trip with two other guys. Um, and none of us are very small dudes. So uh, it might be a little bit tight. Um, looks like, you know, on the sides there, definitely gonna be getting close to the top and the bottom. Uh, so on the sides, not as much room as it may seem uh, to have a full grown adult. Um, in the middle, there is more space at the foot and the head. Um, but like I said, it tapers over there. So potential problem, but we will see how it works out. Another uh, concern with the taper is that if you're sitting off on one side and you're trying to sit up, uh, I did, my, de my head definitely hits the top of this tent and I'm at the highest point of it and I have to kind of duck down to fit. So uh, you really only can sit up straight right in the in the center of it. Um, so, you know, if you had everybody in here, like um, there was a rainstorm or something like that, um, it would be hard to kind of sit fully straight up without hitting the top. Um, so you're kind of going to have to lay down or or squat to, to sit. All right, so let's debrief. Uh, but first, if this is helpful, uh, would you mind hitting that like button so we can get this in front of more people? Appreciate it. All right, so overall, I think this tent is worth the money if it meets your needs. But I feel like that might be a big if. So for me, it would need to fit me and two of my dad friends that I go backpacking with that are all over six feet. That's one use case. The other use case is for my family and it would need to be at least big enough for myself and my wife and my two bigger kids, ages five and eight, um, or myself and maybe all three kids eventually once our little toddler gets big enough to go with us. And basically at this point, I'm gonna say that it really only satisfies one of those three needs for me. And here's why. Long story short, it's too short for me and my dad friends. Uh, I think we would be playing footsie all night long because of those tapered sides. Uh, I think that we're gonna end up having to angle ourselves to keep from touching the sides of the tent and we would have to put all of our feet right in that longest point of the tent. And even then we probably would still have our head and feet touching the walls at some point in there. And again, I'm 6'2", and I was definitely feeling crowded trying to lay on the, on the side of the tent. Also, I could only sit up straight if I was sitting dead center in the highest point of the tent. Even if you're on that high point off to the sides, my head was hitting the, the top, which leads me to think that it wouldn't be very beneficial for taking a toddler along because you're gonna be chasing them around in the tent, changing diapers, changing clothes, and probably would be frustrating only having that one place to be able to sit up straight. Again, if you're slightly shorter than that, if you're maybe six foot or below, probably are gonna have a little bit easier time uh, maneuvering in there. So that really only leaves one viable option and that would be for me and my wife and our two bigger kids. And honestly, that's probably the, the least needed option of the three because it's less likely that we would be able to get away without our littlest one in tow very often. So it pains me to say it, but I think I'm gonna have to part with this one um, and keep looking, which is really unfortunate because I like this one a lot. I really want to like it. <laughs> it's got a really cool, it's got a lot of really cool innovative features that I really like on this tent. So I hope that Climate continues to explore the tent world and that they continue to innovate and create new and interesting things uh, that might be more viable for me and my needs in the future. So all that being said, if you are um, maybe more average height or a smaller family, 
then uh, I think this could be a great option for you. Other than the size, I really didn't have any concerns with it at all. I, I would be really excited to take this tent out. I, I don't think you'll go wrong with it as far as quality and construction goes, and it appears to be a, a legit and solid offering from Climate. But let me know in the comments if there's any other tents from Climate that you've tried and what you think about them. Or if you know of a four person tent that might fit my needs, let me know and I will definitely try that out. And if you want some tips on camping with kids, you can check out this video I made. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.